Welcome Energy Insiders, this is Chris Sass coming from RE Plus Live 2024. With me, I have Amy Hart from Sunrun. Amy, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. I love talking policy. I love when I have policy people because I believe you can't talk energy without policy. That's true. They're, they're inexplicably linked. Um, you're here at one of the large industry shows. What are you hoping to achieve here at RE Plus? Well, I will tell you, first, I've been coming to these for over 10 years, and this is just amazing. As you know, like the turnout is incredible. The industry is growing. It has been a huge opportunity to connect with folks that are working every day on the ground to that policy, right? And talk about what's coming, what are the opportunities to use all of the new technologies, but also all of the existing technologies that are ramping up across the country to help the grid and help customers. Have you seen some new technologies exposed here at the show that you just got a chance to see here? Well, there's a lot of focus on um, sort of what's next, especially with um, like EV charging, but like vehicle to the grid, right? And like how to make those connections within the grid and then powerful batteries, um, just the different types of, of options that are out there. So is Sunrun doing show here as well? Are you showing solutions here at the show? Right, we are working with a lot of our partners um, and being able to connect with people that you know you, we just see on Zoom or see on phone calls, be able to meet with a lot of our business partners and also a lot of our policy colleagues and stakeholders that are working on issues throughout the year. Now, do you spend more of your time working on federal policy or state level policy? It is a mix of both. And I say we work on both all the time, but um, every, um, energy policy is local, right? There's a lot of great large energy issues at the federal piece that we work on every day, but at the um, local level, that is where decisions are made. So that can be from state public service commissions, legislatures that can create programs like virtual power plants, or even at the local level, how are we doing permitting? How are we doing interconnection? How are we unlocking some of those cost savings? So it really is sort of your eye on the ball all the way down. Have you noticed in the 10 years you've been doing this uh, transition and are the states getting more welcoming to the kind of solar and battery storage that we'd expect on rooftops? Yeah, it's a great question. One of the things working in policy over the years that has been, um, it's been good to see is no longer a conversation of even, oh, is solar a real thing, right? It, can solar be a, a base, can, can solar be a solution for the grid of any size, right? Utility scale, community solar, residential. And it is now, how do we use these resources? How do we deploy it faster? And especially from the home solar and battery perspective, this is providing important reliability for customers. It's providing grid or um, bill stability on their energy bills. But then now how can we take the next step and help the grid overall? providing important electrons to the grid. So now it's really transitioned to, we have a soaring electricity demand, and how are we using all these resources to meet the needs of the grid in whatever state you're in? Well, awesome, I, I appreciate taking a couple of minutes out of the show. Uh, we look forward to having you on for a full episode coming up in the near future on Insider's Guide to Energy. You'll have Sunrun, we'll hear about the policy and more of these details in the near future. Thanks again, it's you been a it. pleasure. Thank you.